Before this video starts, I just want to say that I have a second community squadron. Just type in SHCSC in the community squadron tab and you will find it. Enjoy the video. Today we are going to be making our seasonal Silver Lion Grind Guide video. Judging by my past videos I've made, this has been a topic that interests a good portion of the War Thunder player base. Everyone's always trying to look at how they can make Silver Lions easier, quicker, uh, more efficiently, that kind of thing. And I do have some older videos. I'll post the most recent one before this in the description down below. It's just a different method, uh, an equally or better method than in this video. But it's not for everybody. So today we're going to cover some different things, especially with the 10-year uh, anniversary sale or whatever that's coming up on premiums. We're going to combine everybody's want for Silver Lions and how to get them uh, in better ways. And as well as another question I get all the time is, what premiums should I buy? So we're going to com combine the two topics a little bit in this video and talk about what kind of premiums I think are going to be the most bang for your buck. At least when it comes to Silver Lion grinding. Now I did show like free in the thumbnail and yeah, it's kind of free because we're not going to be using premium account or you don't necessarily have to be using premium account. I have premium account of course, but I will show you some results without premium because most of you guys probably aren't going to have premium account and if you do you're not going to have it for very long so don't worry if you don't have premium account you can still absolutely pick one of these up and basically print as much silver lines as your heart desires so we're mostly just talking about the rank two and three premium planes that are like 1600 ge because when the sale happens which should be very very soon these things are probably going to be going 50 percent off which is going to make them like 800 golden eagles and guys that's like five dollars if you can't afford to pay in like $5 on a game that you regular, regularly play enough to be worried about how much silver lines you have in the first place, then I don't know. Maybe you don't need them that bad. And I'm not trying to sound like a Gaijin salesman here. I really don't give a shit. If it were up to me, I'd say go out and get yourself some lunch with that $5. But hey, you guys are in desperate need of silver lines sometimes. You're unlocking vehicles a lot quicker than you can buy them. And me personally, I think that this is the best way to get those silver lines. So just wait for the sale, pick up the XP-50, the P-63A5, the BF-109E7 in the Japanese tree. Uh, they also have the Key-61 and the Focke-Wolf A5. Uh, those two, not quite as good as the E7 in my opinion. Uh, for the Silver Lion grinding, especially the Key-61, that plane's not particularly good at its battle rating. But uh, the way we're going to be grinding them today, your skill level isn't going to be too relevant. And also, one more, the French have the Yak-3P, and that's also a really good plane, not the Yak-3P, excuse me, the Yak-3, this one right here. Uh, it's also a really good plane for the battle rating, and I picked these planes because they're going to be really cheap. Like I said, you can probably pick them up for like 5 bucks when they go on sale, and everybody has $5. Don't tell me you can't afford that, uh, at least for a game that you play as much to where you're concerned about your server lines. And not only that, but they're pretty good for their battle rating too and you should be able to do pretty well pretty easily with them now i would just say for most of you if you feel like you're pretty good at the game you can just pick one of these planes up start grinding them out get your kills with them make sure your team's winning and you're going to notice you're going to start printing silver lions because they're pretty easy to do well in you're going to be able to kind of control your your win rate a lot easier than some of the other planes maybe you've been used to especially true with the xp-50 and the p-63a5 and the russian tree uh, those two I definitely recommend the most. But for those of you who don't feel quite as confident in your air-to-air -air PvP ability, uh, <laughs> unfortunately, I will show you a pretty silly way of grinding SL. It works, absolutely. You can print SL pretty easily doing what I'm about to show you. The problem is, is me personally, I don't think it's good for the game. I wouldn't recommend doing this if you think you can get air-to-air -air kills pretty well, because getting the air to air kills and making sure you win in the long term is definitely going to pay yourself a lot more than doing it this way but you know this is just kind of a last ditch effort for players that don't feel as as confident in their air to air ability i guess uh, you can go ahead and do this and basically all i'm doing here at the start of this match is i saw two wyverns and i saw a crap load of enemy ai aircraft and so there's an order that you can open in the uh, the scoreboard screen or whatever called AAA, AAA, and basically all the order tells you to do is destroy enemy air units, and easy enough, there's two right in front of me that are going for ground units, as well as all of those AI over there, 
count towards this order as well. And for every one of these air units you kill while you have this order activated, it multiplies your reward by like either three times or six times. I'm not sure what exactly it is. I think the multipliers change depending on what game mode you're in. But either way, if you have a bunch of AI that you can kill, you can absolutely rake in SL using orders like this. If you don't have any AI planes on the map, you can go for AI ground units as well. You'll just have to activate the anti-mech order instead of the triple A order. And it's going to be the same principle. You just have to shoot ground targets instead. And again, I really don't recommend doing this. I think this is pretty poor behavior to see an ARB. Uh, I'm a little disappointed when I see my teammates or enemy players doing this. But at the same time, people struggle to get SL, and if you can't get SL, you're going to have a really hard time playing the game. That's just the way it is. So if this is what you have to do because you don't think you're good enough to be getting a consistent uh, couple, gil couple kills every game and win the match, then this is the next best thing for you. I do want to harp on the fact, though, that with some of these aircraft, especially the XP-50 and the P-63, these are extremely under tiered planes and they are very easy to learn how to use and do well with so if you actually want to maximize as much sl as you can possibly get i would just recommend learning how to use these aircraft uh, as well as you can in the pvp air to air role because like i said they are really good for their br once you learn the basics of air to air combat you're going to start printing out a lot more silver lions getting uh, a couple player kills every game and making sure that you win the match and get that win bonus every game then you are going for these AI targets like I'm demonstrating on screen here. So I just want to put that out there and highly encourage you guys to get out there, try to learn some stuff, get better, uh, analyze all of your deaths, figure out what you're doing wrong and try to actually improve at the game and you're not going to be doing that by killing AI. If you have to kill AI for some ground units or for some silver lions once in a while, then you know that's why I'm making this video. But in the long run, if you're not actually getting better at the game, then you're grinding for nothing. You're not going to be doing well in any of the vehicles you're unlocking, and you're not going to have fun. But anyways, getting on with some of the footage here, I noticed that Zero's right behind me. I know he's going to kill me. He has altitude on me. I'm not going to get away from him. I'm sure as hell not going to be out maneuvering him. So I just make sure I kill that last AI ground or the AI airplane there to add to my order. And then I just kind of wait to see if my team wins or not. And luckily for me, they do win. And because of that, I'm able to rack up 101,000 SL from this match. And I did basically nothing to contribute to my team. And that's 101,000 SL without premium. I did not actually have premium for that clip. I was borrowing one of my friend's accounts just to demonstrate what it's like to get SL without premium using that strategy. Now we're gonna go ahead and jump into another game. This is with the P63A5. This is also an extremely good aircraft. It's 3.3 BR. It's got a really good SL multiplier so, and percentage. So you're gonna be getting a lot of SL relative to other premiums out there. And again, it's only gonna be like five bucks when these things go on sale really, really shortly. Even when they're not on sale, you can get these things for like $10. Uh, so it's really not breaking the bank. I think most people out there could afford that. If you're really struggling for SL, just drop like five bucks on War Thunder once and you'll never have to worry about it again. Now the opening clip there, I killed a Key 44, I believe. And I cut out the part where I missed him like four times and had to go back around for another shot because it was really pathetic looking. I'm sure you guys didn't want to watch that. But just saying it so that it's out there and you know what happened. Anyways, now I don't really have much to do. And it's times like this where... Even if you are going for air targets and you're trying to do PvP for the most part, you're at low tier props, man. A lot of times in every single match you play, you're going to have a very large amount of downtime. Whether somebody's camping the airfield, whether somebody RTB to rearm, whether it's a bomber in space that you just don't want to deal with, you have a lot of free time and low tier props to go ahead and just start shooting AI. And so that's what I'm doing here. I started this match off climbing and I did actually fight the enemy team, at least as many players as I could get to before my teammates cleaned them up. But now the fight's over and I may as well just start shooting ground targets and I activated that anti-mech order that you see in the bottom left of the screen. And what this means is that every single one of these ground targets I kill, I'm getting like six times the rewards for and it'll all add up pretty quickly by the end of the match. 
Now for the sake of not wasting your time here, I am going to go ahead and cut to where I have RTB'd. I emptied out all of my ammo on various ground units. I've racked up a couple of kills at this point and I've taken off again and I activated yet another order because you may as well. If you have them, use them when you have the spare time. This is be the best. All you have to do is get the most score in the given amount of time. And given that I have one other teammate left who's up in the air, I know it's going to be pretty easy for me to do because all I have to do is keep shooting these ground units and I'm going to have more score than him. However, I did see this BF-110 taking off towards me, so I kill a couple tanks on the way to his position, and it's a BF-110. I'm not scared of him. I'm in the P-63. I can easily just outturn this guy and end up right behind him at some point. So we go up and over him. Uh, we go underneath him again and back up around behind him. He tries to kind of follow what we're doing, but he's a BF-110. Again, he just kind of starts stalling out and falling out of the sky. So he ends up flying straight, tries to shoot me with his gunners, just to activate the flaps and gun him down. I wasn't really worried about his gunners. He'd have to get a pretty lucky shot there. And most people at 3.3 BRs, they're just not going to be aiming their gunners that well yet. So yeah, I sat on his six for a little bit, but I was pretty confident at that point. And what do we do right after that? Well, there's a Spitfire over there who's kind of just hovering by his airfield for the last 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes of the match. I don't want to deal with that. So again, I'm just going to continue shooting tanks because I'm trying to win the order. Be the best. I'm at 1385 score right now. And once you complete this order, you get an additional 15,000 Silver Lions. I do have premium account though this time. I am playing on my account. So I'm going to get more than 15,000 Lions. Again, if you can afford premium, then absolutely, it's going to help your silver line increase dramatically. But if not, no worries. It's still a pretty good amount of SL for just clicking bots the entire game. So that's pretty much the gist of it for you guys. I'm pretty sure you've all gotten the point by now. The one thing to really take away from this video is, number one, just practice. Get better at the game. Get better at getting air-to-air -air kills and win more often, and you will dramatically get more SL. However, for the majority of people out there that are just looking for cheap and easy SL, you can do it this way. And basically, just launch an order that you know you can accomplish whenever you have the free time. And if you do that in one of these vehicles that I at least mentioned, if not showcased in this video, you're going to start getting a lot of SL very quickly. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this helped some of you. And uh, you, you can see the results on the screen there. 171k SL for doing basically nothing to help my team win. But you still win and you get a good paycheck for it so anyways back to what i was saying on the outro hope you guys enjoyed hope you found this helpful and good luck getting that new top tier jet